what's up guys um, I thought I'd make a quick video because uh, on some of the Facebook sites I've mentioned that I had Chrysacola that I stabilized um, using the epoxy and acetone method a lot of people didn't know what that was I know when I first learned about it it's really hard to find information about it um, I found one video and it really wasn't all that, all that good so, I thought I'd make one. Um, there's different ways to stabilize. You got cactus juice, you got Opticon, but with both of those, you need a vacuum chamber. And uh, you gotta kinda sit there and babysit it for a while. Um, and it's like the conditions just have to be right for it. So, the epoxy and acetone method um, is kind of simple. Uh, you mix it up, you let it be, and you let it, uh, as you'll see, um, let it soak in the solution for about a week. And then after a week is over, you use tongs or a fork or whatever. You don't want to touch it with your fingers. Um, unless you're wearing gloves, but yeah, you take it out, you put it on a metal tray, and you just let it sit and air out and dry out for about a week. And there you go, you got a stabilized rock, you know, of course, a tocola, uh, turquoise, other soft materials like that that can uh, break apart real easy. Perperite is another one. Um, Stuff that you wouldn't normally be able to cab, now you can. So, it's really easy to make. So, if you want to check this out. You just get acetone. You can pick it up at Walmart, any hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever. Um, and epoxy. But, with the epoxy, you want to make sure it's clear epoxy. Because I'm pretty sure that you don't want a coating of white or some sort of cream color all over your rock. So, with the acetone, um, you want to mix two cups to uh, one of these guys. Um, but you want to use glass, a glass measuring cup and a glass jar. If it's plastic, the acetone is going to eat it. Um, you know, you put it in the glass um, because if you put it in a plastic jar you come back a day or two later you got acetone all over the place it's leaking everywhere because the acetone ate a hole through the plastic so I should be wearing a respirator by knowing this but acetone really doesn't bother me much um, I know it gives a lot of people headaches but for me it really doesn't bother me so show you how to mix it up real quick you don't want to let this spill anywhere, but uh, we got two cups right there. Hopefully, there's two more cups left in here. I guess we'll find out. And from what I know, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know. Splashing all over the place here. Alright, so we got two cups right there of acetone. Come on. There we go. Alright. Carefully pour it in a glass jar. Yeah, the fumes from this stuff, when you're pouring it, um, yeah, it really mixes up the fumes and gets in the air. Alright, so once you got that going, you want to get a fork or whatever you're going to mix it with ready. Because you don't want this epoxy to sit in there and set up. Um, it's a two-part epoxy. Um, the hardener and the epoxy, I guess. Um, so, yeah, we'll break this guy open. 
they get some on me and just uh, squeeze it all in there Instead of just letting it sit right there at the bottom, immediately just start stirring. And you want to stir it until it's completely, completely dissolved. You don't want to see any chunks floating around. You might have to stir it five, ten minutes, whatever. So uh, we'll come back when, uh, when it's ready. Alright, so I think we're about done here. Um, there's no big chunks floating around. A um, little bit of snow in here, but that's the uh, hardener, you know, floating around. But for the most part, it's clear. You know, we're good. I have a piece of crystal cola in here that I've been soaking for a little while, but I also have more that I need to soak. Um, could put it together, but I'm not going to. Well, actually, yeah, you know what? I am. I'm going to mix it together. But, all right. You don't want this filled up to the brim or else, you know, you won't be able to fit anything in there. So make sure you have enough room to put your rocks in there. So, all right. And, uh, yeah, once the solution's made up, um, there's really nothing left to do. I mean, you got a piece of crystal cola here. Um, so, oh, you know what? That's too big. That's another thing. Just make sure whatever you use, your rock can fit in there. Um, I'm not the brightest crayon in the box, and I didn't take care of this ahead of time. So, we'll just break off some of this clay solution off of it still a little too big Yeah, this stuff I really don't care about. I forget what it is. It's I don't think it's caliche, but yeah, here's some of that crystal cola falling off. But all right, let's see if we can still nope. can't fit it in there. And then just all right, put it in you half. know what? Yeah. Break it in half. Oh, where are we at? All right, so I went a little caveman style here and I just smacked the daggone thing with a hammer and uh, knocked some of it off. I should have took care of this beforehand, but whatever, I'm human. Anyway, simple enough. Just uh, toss her in there. Got another piece right here. That one might fit. Oh, it'll fit, yeah. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this yet, but toss that guy in there. Close her up, and then every couple of days, just kind of walk by and give it a stir. Um, yeah, just keep the fluid in there moving. Um, it's not a one-time use deal either. Um, so, when you're done stabilizing one thing, you can come back and put other stuff in there. Um, so, this is um, crystal cola that I already stabilized. So beforehand, you'd be able to break it apart. So now it's got that coating of the epoxy and uh, resin all over it. It's kind of soaked in there a little bit to make it harder. So it's not gonna fall apart, so it'll be easier to cab out 
polish, whatever you want to do with it. So, yeah, simple enough, huh? And, uh, yeah, so I believe that is uh, all there is to it. I mean, like I said, um, leave it set in here for about a week. Every now and then, just walk by, shake it up. A week later, it doesn't have to be exactly seven days, eight, ten days. It's not going to hurt it. Um, come back and fish it out of there with tongs or fork or whatnot. Put it in a, a metal cookie sheet or a pie pan or whatever you got that you don't really care about. And let it dry out. Um, the utensils that you use to mix up the solution, the measuring cup, now that it has acetone in there, you want to wash the daylights out of it. Wash it like crazy if you're going to reuse it for food. That's kind of a common sense deal. And the fork or whatever utensil you used to stir the solution up, you're not going to be able to reuse it again. Um, you know, if you use tongs, don't handle food with it ever again. Uh, fork, knife, whatever you use to stir it with, it's, it's done. So just use that utensil for this solution if you decide to make more later on down the road, and that's it. So other than that, um, yeah, there's some bubbles right here of it uh, soaking into the rock here, you know. So, yeah, good stuff. Makes it really nice and hard and make it really nice to uh, uh, shape up the material with. So, thank you guys for watching and I hope this helps. Um, and uh, hope I explained everything good enough for you. So, yeah. We'll see you later.